Hey everybody, sorry, I'm back. Let me know if I'm clear, please. Am I clear? Sorry, my, my phone died. Hold on. Bathroom. I got you, Tiffany. Let me get you. You need help, Tiff? Yeah. You're okay. Yep. He wants to hide so bad. Oh, he's breaking my heart. So shut down. Hi, it's okay. This is Shaggy. His face, it's heart melting, it's heartbreaking. Pooped in your car, he's terrified. It's all right, baby. You're okay, let me close this door. Reminds me of my Brody's body. Hi, baby. You're okay. I know. You're looking for a place out. And you're looking for a place to hide. I know. It's okay. so, want some food? Wait, I know. I covered that. You can't go under there. I stuck a bed under the little cabinet because I knew that's exactly where he was going to try to go. What these dogs have been through, I can't even imagine. What? Sniffing my feet? You're all right, Shaggy. You're safe. It's okay. I know. It's okay. I'm gonna sit down. Make you feel more comfortable. It's okay. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you, Shaggy. Look at how long his legs are. Totally hypoallergenic dog. He's so cute. He's gorgeous. You're okay. I don't remember what I was trying to tell you guys. I'm sorry. My, my phone froze. He's terrified. You can tell he wants to love and trust. It's just going to take some time. <sighs> These dogs, what they've been through, God only knows what he's endured. Definitely abused. No question about this dog has been abused. You know what's gonna happen? I know what's gonna happen. I see it as clear as day. You are gonna be coming up to our laps for kisses and hugs and pets. Don't you see it? Come here. It's okay. He's like 20 pounds, I think. I think he was 20 pounds. 20, 20 ones, something like that. It's 20 pounds. <clears throat> okay. These are the ones that need us the most. These are the most broken. And these are the ones that we like to go after. We love saving them all, but these are the ones that really, really, really need us. He's gonna be in this bathroom. It is a huge, he does look like my baby Brody in a way. Um, and trust me, my Brody is a troubled child. Um, but they love, they love so hard once they know that they're, tr they're safe. It's just gonna take time. He needs to decompress. He needs to know he can trust us. He needs to know that we're, we're not going to hurt him because I can tell you right now he's been abused. Dogs do not just act like this for no reason. He is white. He is neutered. He is 20, 21 pounds. He's three years of age. He has some long legs. He has a long body. Hey, baby. They labeled him a Maltese mix. It's definitely bigger than a Maltese. Let me try some of this. Would you like some of this? Okay. Let's try some fruits. You want that? You want 
some water. You will. I can't. When you were touching him, did he feel thin to you? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. He's panting. He's scared. He was so buried. He's burying himself into places in the car. He pooped in Tiffany's car. Um, just trying to get out of his own skin, basically. They they just want to run away. They want, exactly. That's exactly it. Um, they want to just be out of their own skin, they want to become invisible where nobody can see them. They want to run from their own fear, from their own abuse. He's emotionally, you can just see, he's so emotionally messed up due to whoever had him, whatever they did to him. People have not been kind to Shaggy, that I can tell you. Uh, he's not that mad at, he's matted over by his rear some, um, just, He's been in the shelter for over a month, and he's been in his cage in the back of the Miami-Dade stressful, beyond word, stressful kill shelter. He has not been taken out of his cage for a month, not one time. This is, can you imagine what this does to an already abused animal, um, and then labeled aggressive? I mean, they wouldn't even let Tiffany touch the dogs prior to plate making sure the hold was placed um, signed off waiver that we know that they're labeling these dogs aggressive liability wise so I'm asking each and every one of you to please show us your support we're gonna do all the work and this is a 24 hour job um, and these are our favorite cases to break down their barriers and show them how loved they are and how safe they are and to get a first kiss and a first tug and for them to crawl on our laps is what we work so hard to get these babies to come out of their completely broken down state but um how was uh carmelo when you brought her over to the bathroom she's okay she's okay carmelo she is the second dog and... okay um carmelo is over at house one in our bathroom and we have Shaggy here in house two um, in our bathroom. This is a much bigger bathroom, but he's a bigger dog. So he has beds, he has toys. We have wee wee pads. Um, there's no way out. We have a baby gate with mesh on it. Uh, we have dry food, wet water, and we'll give him some wet food in just a bit. Just rescued Shaggy and Carmelo, two Miami-Dade Animal Services. Uh, rescues that were locked. He's fallen asleep. He's so tired. I'm going to let him sleep. I'm going to let him decompress. Um, and then we'll come back. We'll come in and out um, quietly. We're not going to let anybody in here. They have to go to the bathroom. They're going to use a bush outside or they're going to go next door. Well, actually, no. They're going to have to find... You guys are going to have to wear your diapers. <laughs> You're not using our bathrooms. We need to keep these bathrooms quiet for these babies to just decompress. So anybody that's watching, please make a donation. Okay. I know, you're fine. I know, I know, I'm oh. I know. It's okay. Do you think we should even try to take him outside or no? Do you want to go in your corner? I'll move so you can go ahead. there. Come here. Go ahead. Come on. Go ahead. Good boy. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. There you go. Good boy. That's there a good boy. Go, good boy. It's nice. She got big cushy beds and some toys. I know. You're scared, Shaggy. You're gonna be okay, Shaggy. Yeah, what's that? It's okay. It's just babies. Those are your babies. It's oh okay. Boy. So scared and so confused. It's gorgeous. Definitely when it comes time for him to find a home, when we think he's ready, definitely needs a fenced yard. This is not a dog that's gonna walk on a leash anytime soon. Hi. Hi, pretty boy. You are so handsome. He's so cute. I'm not coming. I'm it's staying okay. right here. But I have a baby. Would you like me to? Do you want your baby? What's that, Shaggy? It's okay. It's okay. You're fine. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and see his face. 
shady. His teeth are white. He's comfortable right now. This is his safe place right now. Terrified. Please honor your support by donating for Shaggy, for Carmelo. Yeah, that's water. Tiffany's washing her hands. The poo poo from you on her hands, Shaggy. Hi. Hi, but you're just a baby with the white, what, his teeth are white as snow. I don't think he's two. I don't think he's two. She's two. I'm not sure how old he is. Yeah, they said three. I don't see it. Sorry. His teeth are white as snow. His teeth are whiter than hers. He's sweet. He is so adorable. Hi, happy face. Donnie, now, what are you doing, Shag Shag? Hi. You're so sweet, Google face. Come here. Come here. I know. I'm going to get you some chicken. Tiff, mm -hmm. see there's chicken in the fridge, please. Okay. Or even a meatball or something. I know Jan made some meatballs. Okay. Let's see if we can. Food works every time. You stay, boo -boos. You stay. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Stay. Yeah, stay. I know. Stay. Stay. No, you can open it. You gotta close the toilets. You can't go in the toilets. He's gorgeous. Like your beds? Look at all your safe, soft beds. I'm not gonna come over. I'm gonna sit right here. Let me just sit my... Oh, I'm sitting. Oh, getting old, Shaggy. Hi, guys. Any of you that are just jumping on, this is Shaggy. He's completely terrified. Labeled aggressive at the Miami Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter. Ooh, we got Chicky Chicky for you. Huh? Meatballs? Okay, whatever. You can walk anywhere you want, Shaggy. Anywhere. Yeah. Hi. Good boy. What? What is that? Is this what Jan brought? I don't know. They said that's neat patties. Those are um no, those are patties for you can break off a piece. I think I don't know. That's I think what they feed princess. Just break off a piece. It's neat. Yeah, it's neat. Ooh come on, Shaggy. Shaggy. He would be dead right now if we didn't pull him. It was an urgent plea from the shelter. SOS was all over his paperwork. He would be dead in a body bag in a landfill right now if we didn't pull him today. Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. Hi, good boy. It's yummy. Pauline is offering $50 challenge right now. It's Thank yummy. you so much, Pauline. Anybody else she's asking? She's making a challenge. Please eat boo boo. Eat something. He will. I know as soon as we leave the room, if we leave the meat, we just crumbled it up to be crumbled it on his dry food. Um, thank you guys for your donation. Thank you. I'm seeing three people donated, four people, five people. So we have some hamburger on his dried food, fresh water, lots of cushy beds, some meat right in front of him, two chunks of hamburger. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Mabel. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you, Zoe. Tina. Oh, 
Oh yeah, real vicious. If, if he does try to snap or bite, it's out of fear. If he feels threatened or cornered, that's when he will try to snap. with some quiet music. We need another Alexa. If anybody wants to donate an Alexa, we have one in the front. For the other dogs, we have one in the back for McCarthy. And now we have, we need another one here. Yes, we'll remove the leash. We never leave a dog on with a leash. Right now, it's just easier for us if we need to get him outside initially. But we're not going to leave the leash on him. Handsome. I love you. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. I'm going to let him decompress. You're okay, Bubba. You're okay. These poor dogs, my heart just breaks every second of the day. If it's not a dog that's in the kill shelter, a dog on the street, a dog that's being surrendered, losing its home, losing its family, a dog that's being tortured, cruelty case, it just doesn't end. You stay, Shag, stay. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Stay. Stay. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You stay, Shag. You stay. Good boy. That's a good boy. You stay. I'm going to keep the light off right now because it's cooler and it's quiet with the, the fan. Bye, honey. Thank you. Are you walking? She's next door. I'm walking you. Oh, you're good. Hi, guys. Oh, he's completely shut down. What's the matter? All right, you want to? You want to move your car? If I lay here. Oh my God. Who's him? Oh, your car. My car, I mean. Put him in my car. That's right. I got to take McCarthy right now. Do you want me to take? Or I know you want to be there. So. Yeah. Do you do you want to put him in your car? Sure. And I'll meet you guys. And, and I'll meet you over there. Sure. You want to jump in her car with her? And I'll meet you over there. I, I'm, I'm gonna move my car. So put your car back. See, okay. this is non-stop. Let me just put my. Thing Tiffany, back. you move your car. Yeah. You're gonna put him in your car. Absolutely and for you. And I'm gonna so. meet you guys over there. Yep. Okay. Oh, to today. Bron. Okay. My nerves are shot. I can't even. With everything going on every day, every. Let me just get my car set. Do you need me to help you do anything? Go decompress. Go breathe some air, Shelly. I'm gonna while I'm here. <clears throat> Remember, we still have little Sonica. Hi, mamas. You were just, I know. You were just outside, my little princess face. She's still available here. It's our $7,000 baby girl that we rescued from the back of the shelter. Put her back together with major surgery. She had a broken hip and a shattered pelvis. She's perfect now. She's a perfect little princess. <clears throat> Why we still have Earl, who is... Four pounds, five pounds maybe now, Earl? You five pounds? What, Bobby? Say hi, everybody. Why are you still here? What? I know. Five pounds. I'm zooming, so as you can see how tiny he is. It's my good boy. I just had him out. And then I'm going to take you to the three from the 
reporting case that are sharing a room. Hi, Max. Max and Nikki and Maggie. Oh, they're sleepy. The girls are sleeping. Hi, sweetheart. These the titties. Hi, Nikki. <sighs> heavy heart, heavy heart, heavy heart. They were just out running. Max is coming around. He's walking around the yard, which is great. Been, Shelly's been really working, and Keith have been working with them. So the two girls are amazing. They jump on your lap, kiss your face off. He's coming around. Um, not, not even close there yet, but he is walking around the yard. He was hiding. He was kind of like shaggy, but not quite, not quite, quite, quite as bad. But the three of them are very comfortable in their room. They just, just nothing but love. Are you looking for a harness? Uh, Braun is outside currently right now. Get back. Hi. You stick. Come on, let's go, go. Hey, Bron. Hi, Boo. <laughs> Ready? You want that? <laughs> yeah, good shot. Good boy. Good boy. Bron, we rescued also from the Miami Dade Kill Shelter when we were there on April 14th. Oh, just opening up this house that we're in right now. We've saved over, I think, 24 dogs since April 14th. That's a lot of lives, guys. A lot of lives. A lot have come and go and gotten adopted. Right now, we have some really challenging, troubled, I won't say troubled, but challenging cases right now um, for the dogs that we have in Rescue House 2. Uh, Rescue House 1 of the bonded. But Braun here is under a year. Smart as a whip. Ready? Go get it. Bring it back. He is a Border Collie Pointer Mix, dog friendly. Uh, no small kids, but great with teenagers. He's just awesome. He's probably one of the smartest dogs ever touched, ever rescued. Neutered, vaccinated, microchip. Don't know why he's still here, but he's taken up the biggest room in this house. Um, when I opened the second house, my intentions were small dogs only, and I saw his face and had to do something. Don't know why he grabbed me, but he did, and I'm so glad. He's just awesome. I don't think she saw my post from Nancy Mescon. I'm missing posts. I'm sorry. Um, what is it? So sorry for your loss. Thank you so much for your donation to the organization. Guys, what did I miss from Nancy? I'm just seeing this. I'm sorry. I can't see it. Anybody? Um, anyway, um, if anybody wants... Nancy donated $300 in memory of her recent loss of a friend... Nancy, thank you so, so very, very much for your generosity and your love and support. I am so sorry for the loss of your friend. Um, we greatly, greatly appreciate your heart and your support to our organization and for these babies. Thank you. Thank you. I am going to be shutting down here. Um, I am going to be... Come here. Let's go. I'm going to be heading over to the animal hospital in approximately 15 minutes, maybe even a little bit less. Um, McCarthy has his... Hold on a second. Hey, guys, am I clear? I upped the internet service here at Rescue House 2. It's costing a little bit more, but it's worth it because all we do are these videos, and it's very frustrating. I did see the message. Yes, thank you so much, um, Patricia Wright. I did, and thank you so much from Nancy her generous donation, um, memory of her dog she lost. And thank you again for, thank you. I'm clear, that's awesome, okay. Um, so as I was saying, I was doing this updated uh, video. Um, I wanted to bring you along for our journey as I do with everything. 
Um, we have two new dogs that we just rescued for any of you that are just jumping on. Miami-Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter, Shaggy and um, Car Carmelo. Um, completely shut down, completely terrified. Um, Shaggy is the worst. And um, they were in the back of the Miami-Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter. And they were both labeled aggressive. Okay, I'm back. This should be better. Um, I'm going to shut down and I am going to go to the animal hospital and I'm going to bring you along with us um, for the vet appointment with McCarthy and keep everybody posted along the way. And uh, so just stay tuned. We should have a better connection once we're over there. Come here, Boo Boo. Come here, Bron. Hi, baby. Come here. But please, everybody, can you please donate um, for all these dogs that we're taking in? We're like suffocating. We're stressed. Are are just it's it's very it's very stressful, very stressful when you take in these dogs and you see and witness them how broken they are and they won't let you touch them, they won't eat for you. They're hiding. They're trying to run away from themselves for their fear because of their abuse, what they've endured. It's just beyond devastating to us. Um, I will get back to you just as soon as I can. Stay tuned. And again, I will be going live from the vet's office with McCarthy, our animal cruelty case, emaciated. Um, this medical appointment is to get him checked out every single inch of him, everything documented. So when we do go to court for McCarthy, that we have everything prepared for the officer McCarthy, who we named Officer Colleen McCarthy from Sunrise PD. Um, and yes, uh, any amount from the challenge. We are still a ways away because it was upped, thank God. We had another donor, one amazing supporter, 5,000 anonymous donor, and now another two, so that's 7,000. I have not had a chance to look since I've been live all this time, but I can tell you, um, four, five, we're about a little over $2,000, maybe 2,500 um, away from our complete challenge being met, so we're gonna push it for another 72 hours. That's $7,000. Um, so every time you make a donation, whether it's a dollar up to 5000 then that challenge is met by our two wonderful, wonderful supporters. So we're very blessed, and it's the only way that we can honestly continue to save so many lives in need um, and continue our ongoing mission. I say it every day. Um, but anyways, enough talk about that. I want to stay focused on the dogs right now, but I'll be back soon. And again, thank you to each and every one of you. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. This is Amy, and I'll see you in just a little bit with McCarthy.